You know what happened to the dirty cop that killed my sister, right? You had it coming. My dad started talking about me turning myself in. Then my mom came up with this plan to get rid of him, but, you know, I couldn't let her do that shit herself. So you took care of it? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I just went for a walk. Shit. Did you see this? Lorenzo Tejada was killed last night. You didn't know anything about this, did you? No, why would I? What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Nino, and I'm back with another Power video. Now, in this video, I'll be talking about how Kane will blame Tariq for Lorenzo's death and the mistake Tariq made with Ife that can potentially implicate him as the one who helped Monet to kill Lorenzo. Now, if you haven't seen my first video on episode 6 yet, you do check them out in the description below after watching this video. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you are welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you have already subscribed, thanks for the support. Now, let's get straight into the topics. I believe Tariq is smart sometimes, but the more he wants to prove that he's smart, the more he leaves room for errors that can implicate him. You know what happened to the dirty cop that killed my sister, right? You had it coming. My dad started talking about me turning myself in. Tariq just told Ife he killed Riri and his father simply because he was expecting Ife to tell him she killed Lauren. Now in this case, Ife showed him that she's smart enough not to confess to a murder. This is how Tariq is going to deal with the consequences of his inability to keep some information to himself. If I am the writer, this is how I'm going to play conflict around Tariq in the coming episodes. Now. We all know that Kane never liked Tariq from day one and even till now, if he gets the chance, he will kill Tariq. This hatred for Tariq over the years exposed some information about Tariq to Kane as his father's killer. Secondly, Kane was there when Tariq finished Jabari. Most recently, Kane suspected that Tariq was the one who shot the Russian connect instead of breeding. Now we all know from day one that Kane hates how his mother trusts Tariq with things she should have allowed him to handle. And Tariq is the one who helps Monet in solving most of her puzzles. Now question is, who can blame Tariq for Lorenzo's death? Secondly, who can think Tariq even killed Lorenzo and who if a snitch on Tariq to Kane? Now this is what I think. As Drew believed that the Russians killed his father, Kane is going to believe that Tariq helped Monet to kill his father. Now, in my previous video, I stated that one thing we should know about Kane is that if someone challenges his intelligence or his ability to reason, he will do anything in his power to prove that person wrong. Kane will show you that he can find out what is going on even though it will be tough for him to really find Lorenzo's killer. Now, Monet has just challenged Kane's intelligence by asking him not to put two and two together because she knows very well that his damn self will come up with five as an answer. And stop trying to put two and two together. Because we both know your dumb ass always ends up with five. Now that Tariq has always been Monet's confidant, Kane is going to start by finding out how Monet even got to know that Lorenzo killed Zeke. Even though Lorenzo confessed to killing Zeke, Kane will want to find out who helped her kill their father to prove that he's the one to lead the family moving forward and not Drew. Now, Kane knowing about Tariq's body count, including his own father, killing Lorenzo will be much easier for Tariq to do. And Kane will never suspect Frank's family to be responsible for Lorenzo's death. This will then bring the suspicion to one person, which is Tariq. Now, how is Kane going to figure all this out? Through Ife. He knows that there is bad blood between Ife and Tariq now, and there is no way those two will look eye to eye. Not forgetting that Kane just stopped Ife from crashing the coffee up. He also offered to help her with products on the low. This act of kindness is Kane's way into Ife's head. Now, it has been established that Efe is now bitter with Tariq after seeing him in Diana's room. She will at this point want to hurt Tariq like she did back in truth. Now, I want you to pay attention to this. The night Lorenzo was killed, Tariq went to meet Lauren around the same time. This is where Lauren can become Tariq's alibi. But then, this alibi can't be used since it will establish that Lauren is still alive. Now, how is this going to play out against Tariq? Hypothetically speaking, Let's say before Kane will hand over his first product to Ife as promised, he will ask Ife about if Tariq was acting weird these past few days. And if she noticed something off about him, maybe he left his room in the middle of the night or something. On first impression, Ife might say no and probably ask why. Then Kane will tell her that he has a feeling he has something to do with his father's death or maybe he possibly helped his mother to kill their father. Mind you, as we speak, if he doesn't know that Lauren is still alive, and if he doesn't know that Tariq knows that Lauren is still alive, that's why he's behaving like that. Then quickly, if he will remember that the night Lorenzo was killed, 
Tariq went somewhere in the middle of the night when she was asleep. You okay? Yeah, I just went for a walk. She will probably just oppose his action to that of hers the night she took out Lauren and conclude that Tariq could possibly kill Lorenzo as well. Not only that, when she broke Lorenzo's death to him, his reaction suggests that he knew something about it. Now, if Efe comes through for Kane with these informations, Kane will conclude that Tariq helped Monet kill their father. Because a guy who can kill his own father can equally kill someone like Lorenzo. Now, there is no way Tariq can prove this theory to be false unless he blows Lauren's cover for her to serve as an alibi to his disappearance at night. Now, question is, will Tariq blow Lauren's cover to get himself an alibi or he will protect Lauren and expose himself as Lorenzo's killer? Now, what does this mean to Monet? If Monet tries to defend Tariq, it will be obvious that she is afraid for herself as an accomplice. Now, before I continue, let me know what you also think in the comment section. I'm just saying that this could possibly happen and Kane would think Tariq is the only person brave enough to help Monet kill Lorenzo. Now, if my theory happens to be true, Gordon in the middle of all this will have time to survive. This will also go further to increase his relationship with Drew because he will know that Kane is after Tariq for killing Lorenzo and Drew is blaming the Russians for killing his father. Hence, these two with their suspicions will never cross paths with him. Now, let me know what you think in the comment section. I don't know, but personally, I feel Tariq shouldn't have told Efe about Riri and Ghost, knowing very well that Efe is like an enemy now. If Efe is caught and she's going down, she might leak this information to bring Tariq down with her. Don't forget, a snitch is always a snitch. She did it before and she can do it again. And also, don't forget that Blanca was not done investigating Terry for Raymond Jones. So if this information about Riri comes up again, it's going to open a whole investigation on Tariq. Now with all his smartness, I want to assume that Tariq acted smart by recording his conversation with Ify when he brought her to the location she tried killing Lauren at. It will go a long way to protect him about this Lauren issue and prove his innocence. Why do I say so? If you pay attention to their conversation, Despite Tariq's anger, he managed to stick to a clear script that would prove that he was actually trying to save Lauren. Tell me what the fuck happened over here. How did Kane know about the plan to get Lauren out of the city? Raiden told me he told Lauren to run, but somehow she accidentally crashed her car into the lake that night. Listen, I know you killed Lauren. I want you to fucking say it. While Effie, on the other hand, is emotionally confessing everything she has done. Why? She wore a fucking wire. You know the rules. Why would they be any different Listen, for her? Lauren is a fucking civilian. What was I supposed to do? You should have done it yourself. But I did it for you to protect you. Now, don't forget the best way they can prove that Effie tried to kill Lauren is through some confession because, like Jenny said, Lauren cannot be her own witness and of course, Braden will not testify this time again. So the best thing for Tariq to save himself from this Lauren case is to get confession from Ife on tape. That way, Ife will go down for what she did and Lauren will believe Tariq is innocent. But if it happens that Tariq didn't think of getting Ife's confession on tape, then he has a long way to go. Now let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think Terry possibly got Ife on tape? Drop your thoughts as well in the comment section. Let's discuss. Now I can't conclude without talking about Kiki here. Now in one of my last videos, I mentioned that Kiki was introduced as someone who loves money. And I stated that after what she found on Braden's phone before the Italy trip, she's going to go greedy and possibly join them in the game. Now, she has started making demands after Braden wanted her to assist with Lorenzo's insurance. And like I said, her greediness is going to grow bigger and deeper. Let's watch out for Kiki. Now, I also feel this encounter between Tariq and Obi, Tariq has gotten a weak link to play Obi. Him asking him not to tell Norma he interrupted his drop-off shows that Obi is taking unassigned actions behind Norma's back. And as the title of the episode suggests, Land of Lies, Everyone is lying to cover something. But then for all you know, this may be a test by Noma to see if Tariq will be loyal to her. I don't know, but let me know what you think in the comment section about a sixth episode of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get notified on my next videos. Like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.